Went to the coronavirus pandemic overnight, the FDA authorized a COVID booster shot. Right now, it's only for people with compromised immune systems, making them especially vulnerable to the virus. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live outside Pfizer headquarters on Manhattan's east side this morning. John? Good morning to both of you. Well, that extra shot, that third shot, the booster shot, whichever way you call it, it will apply to millions of people. But for now, health experts, they say that healthy people do not need it. This morning, there is pivotal approval on the vaccine front. The FDA has authorized a third doses of Pfizer and Moderna's coronavirus vaccine for some people with weakened immune systems. An additional dose could help increase protection for these individuals, which is especially important as the Delta variant spread. The FDA made no mention of Johnson & Johnson's one-dose vaccine. The new booster is meant for organ transplant recipients, cancer patients, and others who are immunocompromised. We estimate it to be less than 3% of adults. Health experts say transplant patients take medications that impact their responses to vaccines. We're putting you on things to prevent you from rejecting your liver transplant, your lung transplant, your kidney transplant that's specifically designed to sort of quell <laughs> your immune system. The U.S. is averaging more than half a million shots a day for the first time since June. The White House says vaccination rates are seeing the highest uptick in states where the virus is rapidly spreading. Mayor de Blasio announcing Thursday roughly 70 percent of adults in New York City have had at least one shot, including 50,000 people who took advantage of the city's $100 incentive to get vaccinated. Even so, many schools across the tri-state area are requiring masks for all teachers and students. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, who will become governor of New York in less than two weeks, says under her watch, masks will be non-negotiable. My view is, is that people will be wearing children and everyone in a school environment will be wearing masks. And with kids returning to the classroom as breakthrough cases are on the rise, the mayor is doubling down on his commitment to have all in-person learning citywide. Unless they are symptomatic or confirm positive, they're going to stay in school no matter what. The mayor citing extremely high vaccination rates among Department of Education staff and educators, saying there is no long-term remote learning plan in place. Now, the CDC is expected to recommend the additional shot sometime later on today, so things can begin immediately. Dr. Anthony Fauci says that people should take the same brand as their initial vaccine. We're live this morning from Manhattan's East Side. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you. Well, this morning.